Welcome to Simple Software Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to separate a string of text into individual columns. So this is something that's helpful for deciphering or creating cryptograms. So I'm going to show you two different methods here. So the first method is using text to columns. So I have some cryptogram text here. I have it broken down into um, into little um, short lines here so it's not you know spanning across my page so it's a little more workable. So the first method is using text to column. So what I'm going to do is I have my information in column A so I'm going to click on column A to highlight it. Then I'm going to click on the data tab and then on text to columns. So this is helpful for splitting text up. This could be a bit tedious though. Um, so I'm going to select fixed width and then click on next and here it wants you to create breaks so the way to do this is you just create a break at every single spot here so so you just click like that again this could be tedious but maybe this is easy for you to understand and easy for you to do you don't care so this could be a good solution for you so I'm not going to do the whole thing but you would want to go all the way to the end and make sure all of there were breaks between each line of text here. So then you can click next and there's more options or you can just click finish and it's going to separate it. So you can see the result here. So it's all separated into its own, you know, until I, I gave up here. Okay. So that is method one. Now method two uses a formula. So we're going to go onto this sheet. So again, I have all my data broken up into, um, separate rows on in column A. Now what I'm going to do just for myself because I know this is going to spread out quite a ways is I want to just shrink up these columns. I'm not sure how many columns I need so I'm going to show you a real quick way to figure that out. So I'm just going to click in cell B2, this one next to this. I'm going to click on function and I'm going to type in len, L-E-N, hit enter or go. And what this is going to do is tell me how many characters are in here. So you don't have to do this, but it's helpful. So I click there. It tells me 44. I can hit OK. It has 44 there. So I know that I'm going to want 44 um, row, uh, columns here. So I can leave this. I can delete it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on top of column B, drag over. As I'm dragging, you can see this count up here. I'm at 50 right now, so I'm just going to stop at 50. And then I'm just going to shrink these up so they're easier to use cells. So this might make more sense in a moment. Okay, so now I have all the cells where this text is going to be broken up. So now I'm going to grab this formula here. And what this is going to do is it's just going to take this and it's going to break everything apart. Now you may notice there's dollar signs in it and what that means is that it, it, if there's a dollar sign before a value here, before a, a column letter or row number, it means always choose that one. Okay, so you're going to want to leave these and just make sure your text is in column A. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to control V to paste it. And there we go. So it started to break apart my text here. So now I'm going to just copy and drag this all the way across. So I'm going to hover in the corner. You'll notice that my cursor is now a black plus sign. And I'm going to click in it and I'm going to drag. I'll just drag it all the way over there. So as you can see, it split it apart there. Now we'll see if this works dragging down like that. It does. And then we'll just go down there. So this may be an easier way. And again, you don't have to do that len function. Um, if you don't want to, you can just kind of estimate about how many characters you're going to need. And you don't have to shrink them down like this. I just think it's a little easier to do it that way. Um, now, one more thing to remember is that you still have the formulas in here. So it's a good idea to, I like to highlight that and then copy it. We'll just click down here, paste values. So what that does is it shows the actual letters here and not not the formulas, okay? And that's going to be important um, potentially depending on what you do with this text. But that way it's all split up into different columns and hopefully has accomplished what you are hoping to do. So I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful, interesting, hopefully, videos. Leave me a comment if this was helpful or you have a question or an idea. Let me know. Um, 
and have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.